All right, welcome back everyone. Today's video is gonna be on my coach, Parker, top handle, the snake skin that I purchased a while back and I have enjoyed it a lot. But I'll quickly go what's in it or in a little mini review, yada yada. And of course, and some Royal Albert unboxing pieces. I've been on a Royal Albert train lately, so. <laughs> but um, I did wanna go over this gorgeous bag because I am absolutely in love with it. You know, I love the Parker line from Coach. It's absolutely one of my favorite lines from Coach. I have had this beautiful Coach Parker in the top handle version on my wish list since it came out. Let me just jump right into the details of this gorgeous bag. So it does have the beautiful oxbud color blocking on the um, outer sides. This side, and that's bulging a little bit, but it does have the beautiful smooth glove tan leather. And then it comes with this beautiful hang tag. Um, it has a snake skin on one side and the um, coach embossing on the other side. A beautiful snake skin, a top handle. And it seems like the strap and the handle are like two different types of snake patterns and it really is actual snake and then of course on the front outer part it is two-toned type of leather it has got the cross grain type of leather on the front flap that goes all the way to the back of the bag and it's like a really pebbly it almost reminds me of the um, caviar type leather. And then a beautiful smooth back pocket and the gloved hand leather, which does not really fit my phone. It's kind of a tight fit. The back pocket is lined in the microfiber uh, fabric in that red, it's kind of hard to tell, but I like that it's at least lined. If you do want to slip a card or something in there, you can. And of course on the bottom, no feet, but because of the way the bag is made, you really can't have feet. And on the back, it has the hardware for the crossbody um, strap or longer shoulder strap. And on the front, it, of course, the closure is that beautiful uh, coach turn lock closure that I love so much. It's one of my favorites, that C turn lock, I love it. And on the front, it is all smooth glove tan leather. And then you open it up to this beautiful microfiber maroon fabric. It's just so beautiful and it really pops with that. The snake, you know, just lovely detail. I love that. Beautiful crossbody strap or longer shoulder strap. It's more a longer shoulder than it is crossbody for me. It works as crossbody. And it's got the beautiful chain uh, detail on the part of the front part of the strap, the hardware where it attaches. I love that detail. The rest of the strap is the beautiful snake skin and then the ox blood on the flip side and their straps and their hardware. I love Coach's hardware and straps. They're so well made, you guys. The glazing, they're just, I really love the extra detail, like literally, like, even their outlet bags, they really go all out. The well, top handle strap is uh, movable. It moves from side to side. I do prefer it to stay up, but it doesn't bother me that it flops either, so. And then when you open it up, you have one almost accordion style pocket on the front in that microfiber uh, fabric. This is where I keep my phone and it doesn't bulge out. And my phone has, uh, it has a, one of those battery cases on it and it still fits beautifully and it doesn't bulge because this leather right here is thick. It's not thin at all. So it has one giant pocket, which is great for phones, etc., whatever else you need. And then it has another pocket here. And then my phone also does fit vertically standing up and I still can close the bag too. And I have an iPhone X. And then it does have another slip pocket on the back with a zipper closure, which I, okay, before I unpack this bag, let me just quickly go over the measurements. So it measures 12 and a half long, eight and a half high, four and a half wide. Okay, I can fit a bottle of water in this bag, which I absolutely love. Next to that, some Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works. 
along with the lotion. It is hot right now where I live, so a nice refreshing little mist is nice. Um, gum, of course. Tissue. Let's see. Okay. Oh, these are my Coach sunglasses. Then I have this beautiful kiss lock in this back pocket. I have my other card holder from Coach. I love this little cutie. Oh my goodness, this is one of my favorites. Then, of course, my beautiful Hello Gorgeous makeup pouch that I like to keep mascara and perfume, lip balms, and um, nail clippers. And of course, my favorite shout wipes, some hair ties. Nothing new, really. I'm pretty basic when it comes to all of that kind of stuff. And the last thing is the um, Estee Lauder fabric makeup uh, gift with purchase pouch that I got one time ago, many a year ago. And then, of course, my Clinique makeup powder, some deodorant, and my brush and mirror here. So, nothing too spectacular there. And that's all of it, you guys. Yeah, I definitely could have fit a lot more in this gorgeous bag, but I tend to like lighter bags. I've noticed lately, you know, I've been trying to keep it a lot less cluttered because I can get cluttered real quick in a bag, especially a bigger bag like this. You can just fill it up and then after carrying it for several weeks, you have like 10 pounds of trash in it. All right, that concludes the review of this beautiful Parker, this top handle Parker, and I will get into the unboxings now. Let's start off with the big pink box. Da -na 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 -na. Royal Albert, of course. And this is the Polka Blue set from Royal Albert. And of course it's empty because I am not about to like um, but this is the packaging, just so I, you can see how it comes. It came very well packaged. I love the the box. It's padded, and I just love these boxes. They're all like on top of my uh, wardrobe in my bedroom. So yeah, I love it. So this is the Royal Albert Poco Blue, the three piece set. It comes with a sugar bowl, a covered sugar bowl. I love it. Oh, cute little side handles. Look at that, so adorable. The beautiful pink roses and the polka dots. And of course the gold, beautiful gold banding. And then on the inside, just absolutely just so adorable. And then of course the creamer for your cream. And that's the bottom, the bottom of this one. And I think this teapot holds about 40 ounces. Don't quote me. But yes, I love the beautiful blue with the polka dots, with the beautiful white polka dots and the scattered roses. There are some bigger blooms. Then they have some little uh, buds and smaller size buds and blooms. A little bud, that's a bud. That's a smaller bloom, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying, guys. Just in case you haven't figured that out already. I don't know what I'm doing. And then that's the bottom. And yeah, I absolutely love this line from Royal Albert. I do have a few pieces from the Poke Boo collection. Now, all I need is four of the teacups. I already have one, but I need four because we're family five. So I want everybody to have their own teacup. This one was purchased from Amazon. My husband got it for me, of course. A total surprise. I did not expect this, of course. Like, he did, loves to surprise me sometimes. So, yeah, I do love the this little trio set. So beautiful and so delicate. And I'll definitely show you, you know, how it's set up in my china cabinet. It's kind of, I've kind of rearranged. I just love, like, I feel like my china is like my toy, adult toy. <laughs> so, I'm constantly rearranging and arranging. It's really therapeutic and just me and my kids and my husband we're constantly using these so it's just i don't know it's it's a lot different than my handbags my handbags are just for me and i feel like 
I'm constantly buying myself something selfish or something. So, but when it comes to my Royal Albert, I there's like just no no bounds because we're all using it and we're all enjoying it together and it's creating memories. You know what I mean? When it's a handbag just for myself, it just it serves my selfish purpose, you know? But when it's these things right here, we all enjoy it together. Like we just absolutely love it. Okay, moving on to the next set. next is the beautiful Royal Albert, the Miranda Kerr uh, teapot set. Now this is the, it's not from the Everyday Collection. This is from the regular um, Royal Albert line, but this is a Miranda Kerr uh, piece. And that's the front. I just love their packaging. And this is the side of this and that. I just love it. It reminds me of a big old cake box. And that is the back of the box. Okay, and then you open it up. And you see, dun dun dun, empty slots. <laughs> okay. Yeah, y'all came to see empty slots. I'm just kidding. No, it's right here. <laughs> I didn't want to, it to break me flopping that box around. But this is a beautiful set. This is the Royal Albert Miranda Kerr. This is the this is the one my husband prefers over the Everyday Collection because it is. A little more elegant it's got more banding it's got you know just the everyday collection doesn't have any of the gold banding so because it's for every day but this is beautiful for all occasions and we have used it already since the day it dropped out on my porch look at the two little bitty flies on the top so cute and then a bunch of oh, here I'm showing you there's that one on that side let me do it slowly so you can see all the beautiful two big peonies and this is these are two like shades of pink i love that and then banding on the gold handle and then more butterflies just beautiful butterflies scattered all over the place and then two more peonies on that side that is the bottom and then of course the beautiful creamer gold banding oh look look at the beautiful butterfly under on the little spout or pouring area and the little banding that's the bottom of that and the sugar bowl with the beautiful butterflies and the peonies i love it i really do love it so much and butterfly on top actually two again and on the inside just beautiful gold banding on the rim I love this it. set um my husband got for me on um on amazon prime day but um off of the macy's website because macy's had an amazing you know drop of sales on the royal albert like literally half price things that would never go on sale or things that would only go 30 percent off they had it for 50 percent off so i was able to get this I was able to get this for 99 so i was so excited yes 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 and then of course i was torn i told my husband i called him because he got some stuff from amazon he's like hey babe you want something get it i'm like uh uh okay uh that's a dangerous question <laughs> but um i i was like hey um i'm kind of torn between the cups the teacups or the the teapot set so he ended up getting both for me so yeah i love them into that i really do <laughs> But yes, let's get into the teacups now. Box. That's the front, that's the sides, and, and the back, and the front. I already tried to do this in a short on YouTube, but I ain't got time for that. I didn't upload it right or something, so I had to delete it, but whatever. I don't know how to work things. All these new like Tiki Talks and all this Tic Tacs. No, I can't keep up with the shorts or the norts or whatever. So, yeah, this is the inside. It comes packaged really beautifully. And I literally had to rip into some of the things just to get the teacups out. But, yeah, it comes in, like, a two different separate layers. So, the packaging was amazing. Macy's always, I, I never worry about, you know, getting a broken piece of Royal Albert from Macy's because their packaging is so amazing, you know? But yeah, that's the box the teacups came in. So these are the teacups that they came with. 
these are the multicolored set. I really thought that I was gonna love this teacup and this more, uh, more than the um, yellow and the turquoise or the greenish, but they're absolutely gorgeous. My daughter, she absolutely loves the yellow one. That's her favorite. And this yellow is so delicious, you guys. Oh my word, like it's such a beautiful shade of yellow. It doesn't even come, you know, translate as well as I'd like to on camera, but it's such a beautiful shade of yellow. It's definitely more, it's got more of a pop of yellow than the everyday collection, which I really love. So then it comes with this white one with the beautiful peonies and butterflies all around and the saucer yes oh my goodness i love having tea with my babies and coffee and in these beautiful beautiful uh teacups I mean, so you can see little butterflies and look at this one this one that butterfly is made out of beautiful flowers i love it oh my goodness and then this one is the one with the turquoise on top. So it's got a beautiful florals and then it has turquoise rim with the gold banding. That's the bottom. Same thing with the saucer. I really love, I love this line from Royal Albert. So beautiful, so whimsical and so girly. Oh my goodness, I love it. And then this beautiful mint green. It's got a beautiful heart made out of florals. So beautiful, you guys. And a bunch of, like, on the outside, I thought I was not going to like, I thought I wanted florals. But I'm so happy that this has the florals on the inside and just the butterflies on the outside. It kind of really highlights the butterflies so well. And look at that beautiful heart, you guys. Ah! Okay, there, and this is the back. Yes, I love it. Okay, I'm a little gaga. For my real Albert, because we do use it. We use it, and we, like we're making memories, and it's beautiful and elegant, and it slows down time versus, you know, just throwing it in um, plain old mug and just chugging it down. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you have to slow down and enjoy it. So this right here forces you to sit down and enjoy it because it's so cute and so beautiful, like you want to enjoy it. So this is the complete set of the beautiful Royal Albert Miranda Kerr. I love this line. I really do. All right, you guys, thank you again for all your love and support. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful and blessed day and I hope you guys continue to have a beautiful and blessed rest of the week and as always you guys i will see you in the next video and i might leave a little something something i'll have to think about it right now my husband wants me to go to the pool we gotta go to the pool we're gonna go to the backyard and swim 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 because it's the fourth and you know i just get an extra day with my babies oh my goodness i love the weekends the weekends are the best time of my life that's why it's so hard to break away and sit here and do videos because it takes me like this video is no joke you guys this video is 52 minutes long because that's how i roll i don't roll like in a straight fast line i'm like bumping on every like pothole on my way to the finish line of video <sighs> editing is like folding laundry who wants to fold laundry voluntarily not i but i gotta do it so Thank you guys for all your love and support. Share the July 1st a devotional. And uh, this one is titled Take Hold of Understanding. And it focuses on Matthew 15 through the 16th, uh, chapter 16 through the 17th. And they go back to the Old Testament to um, bring a little more understanding to this New testament verse when david took bathsheba to himself and became entangled in a web of sin he did so without understanding he didn't consider that the eye of the lord is in every place beholding the evil and the good he didn't think about how god will bring to judgment every secret thing whether it is good or evil neither did he understand in his own heart we can learn from david's experience the problem wasn't bathsheba it was his heart she revealed that lust was burning in the king, 
the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jeremiah 17, 9. David should have taken note of Joseph's story. When Potiphar's wife called, he ran. So should we run from sin. And and this verse is a thousand percent true. I know any temptation that has ever, you know, come into my life and it so frequently does because we are so fleshly. Um it reveals that the desire is in our hearts. So we cannot be tempted by something that is not already in our hearts. Temptation reveals what's already burning in our hearts and what we need to deal with. Temptation always reveals what is in our hearts that we need to um, clean up and clean out and throw out uh, over and over again.